This week, NASA announced a major change in plans for how rock samples collected by the Perseverance rover will be delivered to the rocket that launches them off Mars. It's going to be a bit of a gamble on this episode of Mars Guy. Ever since the first mission to Mars in 1965, there's never been one that has come back to Earth, let alone returned samples. Decades of dreaming and scheming about Mars sample return by scientists and engineers has always bumped up against the biggest hurdle, money. In 2011, the planetary science community made Mars sample return its highest priority for the coming decade, recommending that NASA send a rover to collect and store or cache samples for future missions to return. This was a way to spread the costs over time. The original concept evolved into what would become the Perseverance mission. The mission that would pick up the samples and launch them to a waiting orbiter was envisioned as a lander with a rocket known as a Mars Ascent Vehicle, or MAV, and a fetch rover built by the European Space Agency, or ESA. As the name suggests, it would drive around and fetch the sample tubes left behind by the sampling rover. They'd be left behind to ensure that if the sampling rover died before it could deliver its onboard collection, all would not be lost. Now, that plan has changed in part because of the cost and complexity, but there's also been more time to assess the potential lifespan of Perseverance. Here's the latest view of its sand-covered deck and its tracks in the distance. And here's Mars Guy for scale to help show how wide this vehicle is. Its near twin, the Curiosity rover in Gale Crater, is still going strong after 10 years, which is promising for Perseverance. The other development is discovering just how robust and capable Ingenuity is. So now the plan is to use Perseverance as the primary means of delivering samples to the MAV. But more exciting is the plan to send two Ingenuity-class helicopters along with the MAV on the sample retrieval lander. These would provide a secondary capability to retrieve samples if Perseverance can't deliver them for whatever reason. The wheels would allow the helicopter to land near a sample tube and roll up to it, presumably propelled by the rotors, and grab it with its mini robotic arm. And no comments about my cheesy animation. Similar moves would deliver the tube back to the MAV, drop down near it, and then roll up to within reach of the sample transfer arm. And that arm will be built by ESA. Its job is to pick up each sample tube and place it into a container at the top of the MAV. The container, known as the orbiting sample, gets launched to Mars orbit where it's picked up by the third mission, an orbiter built by ESA that can fly it back to Earth. Yes, it's a complex plan, but it actually got simpler by abandoning the fetch rover. And if the current plan holds, fans of Ingenuity can look forward to seeing version 2.0 flying around Perseverance sometime in 2029. 